Nelson Cruz to the Padres. One year, $1 million. Absolute steal. Absolute bargain. Veteran presence. Potential outfield possibility. Most likely a DH. Clubhouse guy. Leader. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We are going to break down as a Padres fan and as a baseball fan in general, the implications of the Nelson Cruz deal to the Padres. But before we do, be sure to like the video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel, guys, if you enjoy this type of content, because this is the content we put out. Sports talk, reaction, information, general knowledge, everything else in between, insight, whatever you guys want, whatever you guys need, we will give it to you on this channel. So like I said, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the, the channel, and let's break down this Nelson Cruz deal. So Nelson Cruz goes to the Padres. He's 42 years old, seven-time All-Star, 359 career home runs, has had a lot of success at different points in his career, but a, a few pieces of this deal stand out to me specifically. Number one, it's $1 million for one year. It's, it's, it's not common to see a guy only get a million bucks for one year, especially when it's a guy that does have uh, a, a long, illustrious career and a history of success. And he knows what his contributions are going to be to this team, right? The Padres have Matt Carpenter. They signed him as a left-handed DH potential bat in the lineup. So I would imagine with right-handed pitchers on the mound, Matt Carpenter is going to get the majority of the at-bats the DH spot with left-handed pitchers on the mound. Nelson Cruz, who's a career 295 hitter against left-handed pitchers over his whole career. I know I said career 290, but like, over the extent of his career, he's hitting 295 against lefties. That is amazing. He loves lefties. Apparently, he crushes lefties. So having him as an option for the designated hitter position, or, I mean, maybe throw him in the outfield. I, I don't really care. You know, if you throw him out in right field or do whatever you want to do against lefties, he needs to be in the lineup. He's going to be in the lineup. But on top of that, I do feel like, especially with the market and the consideration and everything that everybody's getting, Seems like all these guys are getting kind of overpaid in some circumstances. For Nelson Cruz to come to San Diego for only a million dollars at the age of 42 with all the other talent and all the other guys that are probably going to be getting a lot more of the, the accolades and recognition for the team's success, he's coming to San Diego to win. He's coming to San Diego to mentor. Those are the two things that stand out to me. I don't think he's going to be mentoring guys like Manny Machado. I don't think he's going to be mentoring guys like you, Darvish. But he's going to be highly impactful and highly positively contributing to the team. He He's going to be offering things that a lot of other players can't offer. And that's a veteran presence. He knows what it takes to win. A lot of postseason experience. A lot of just MLB and league experience, having dealt with different guys and facing different pitchers and different, he's had different responsibilities and, and different roles on different teams. Now he's 42. You pretty much know what you're going to get from Nelson Cruz, but he's going to step in and mentor guys like Juan Soto, guys like, and especially sp including and in speaking about Fernando Tatis Jr., right? That guy, as much as, you know, people thought Manny Machado was going to be the mentor thing for, Mach for Fernando Tatis Jr. and help him and lead him and guide him it's hard because Machado isn't really old enough to be that guy I mean he he's significantly older than Fernando but at the time that Fernando and Manny were playing together and Fernando was making those huge leaps and bounds and becoming what was the face of baseball until obviously he completely ruined it and we won't get into it clearly it's a tough subject for me before all that happened Manny was still like in his late 20s 30 31 it's hard when Manny is also still trying to become the face of a franchise and almost kind of battling for Tatis right for like who's going to be the face of the team so for Manny to get a leadership role over a guy like Fernando who's potentially already better than he was just from a strict output and, and wins above replacement win, wins above replacement perspective a guy like Nelson Cruz coming in as a DH, 42-year-old veteran leader who knows what it takes to have sustained success, right? Because that's the thing they always talk about in Major League Baseball is the grind of the season, how long it takes, keep your body healthy, do all these different things. Nelson Cruz has been there. He's done that. He knows what it takes. He's been on really bad teams. He's been on really good teams. 
He's had some down years. He's had some unbelievable years. He knows it all. And for him to come, I think that all that stuff I just mentioned about what he brings, that's not actual baseball play. That in itself, in my opinion, is worth more than a million bucks. So for him to come and only take a million dollars at the back end of his career, keeps the Padres underneath the threshold of the luxury tax. It's an unbelievable move yet again by AJ Preller. It's uh, one of those moves that I think at the end of the season is going to be looked back on and say, wow, we only had that guy for a million bucks. And on the flip side, right? You could sit back at the end of the year and go, wow, Nelson Cruz didn't play at all. He got hurt a bunch. He got into anything. And my response to that, if that's worst case scenario, is I don't care. I know a million dollars is a ton and ton and ton of money in the grand scheme of real life, but in the scheme of Major League Baseball and contracts and payrolls, a million bucks is nothing. So if he ends up getting hurt, if he ends up not playing well, a combination of both, I don't care because like I said before, the other stuff that he's going to be bringing with experience, with knowledge, with everything included that he has accumulated throughout his career, that itself alone is worth a million dollars. Even if he breaks his hand on the first pitch he sees on opening day or he breaks, I don't know, whatever, a season ending injury, him just being in the dugout mentoring and contributing and talking to these guys when they're struggling, right? Fernando Fernando Tatis Jr. comes back from his suspension. Padres go on the road. He's getting booed out of his mind. A guy like Nelson Cruz will be able to take him aside in the dugout, sit next to him, maybe crack a joke, maybe keep things lighthearted, give him a little piece of advice here and there. And that will also take a lot of the burden off Manny Machado because Manny Machado is an excellent player, He's definitely stepped up and become one of the leading voices in the Padres clubhouse on that team, in that lineup. But to ask somebody to basically lead the entire offensive side of one team. And what I mean by lead is be the the biggest voice and the advice giver and everything else to ask one guy to be that, to be the guy for the whole team. It's tough, especially when Manny Machado is a 33 year old, type of player he's still in the back end of like his prime 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 years on top of that you have these guys that are slightly you know unhinged or haven't experienced quite as much adversity in their lives like Juan Soto who's just always been excellent always been good Fernando Tatis Jr. has always been excellent always been good and also the circumstances with Fernando Tatis Jr. are relatively unprecedented for a lot of people Nelson Cruz has been suspended for PEDs before As much as that doesn't resonate well with a lot of different people, people make mistakes. It happens. It is what it is. Nelson Cruz has dealt with it. So when it's all said and done, it's almost like a perfect fit with Nelson Cruz to the Padres. And then when you, when you describe a situation and a contract agreement or a guy going to a certain team as a perfect fit, typically that perfect fit doesn't only cost the team a million dollars. So I love the deal. I love the contract. Nelson Cruz is going to the Padres one year, $1 million. Looking through that top six of the order in no particular order, but specifically what I would do. Leading off, Fernando Tatis Jr. Hitting second, Xander Bogarts. Hitting third, Juan Soto. Hitting fourth, Fernando uh, Manny Machado. Hitting fifth, Jake Cronenworth hitting sixth, any combination of Matt Carpenter or Nelson Cruz. Or if you want to get frisky, you put Cronenworth at short, you put Carpenter at second base, you put Nelson Cruz at DH, and you get both Cruz and Carpenter in the lineup. I'm just saying, it adds a lot of depth to the Padres. It adds a lot of value that isn't necessarily shown in the stat sheets, right? And on his baseball reference page. I love this deal for the Padres. Hopefully it ends up panning out. And I think either way, numbers aside, it's going to pan out. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said at the beginning, be sure to slap a like if you guys enjoy these types of videos, this type of content. Subscribe to the channel for more types of instant reaction videos, opinionated pieces, because honestly, 
yeah, it's my opinion, but I think the opinion that I had with Nelson Cruz and, and my take on this contract is probably one that's going to be shared around the organization and also around the league. I think everybody on the outside looking in on the Padres is going to go, man, that's a great fit. That's a great fit and a bargain, right? I love the deal. Hopefully you guys enjoy this type of content. Like, subscribe. I love you all. Go Padres. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.